Salina. Today uh, we're going to present lung cancer diagnosis with ML. Introduction about the project. Our goal in the project is to predict the cancer type using histopathological lung cancer image. We used, to, we used the lung cancer image data sets from Kegel in our project. Using machine learning algorithm and techniques, we made the model that is available to use in making a prediction on diagnosis. As a conclusion, our project is expected to assist the pathologists with their diagnosis. How to access and use the website. About the web product, we developed a simple website in HTML and CSS using some bootstrap codes. Also, since we used Python in the previous works of the study Flask framework, uh, is used in the web development process. Flask is used to return the result to the user. Our web application can only determine if the image is adenocarcinoma, healthy, or secondary cell carcinoma. Upload image and submit. The user will upload the histopathological lung tissue image by clicking upload image button. Uh, in the next dialog uh, window, user is expected to choose a lung tissue image from their folders. After choosing the image, submit it. After a short period of time, uh, almost uh, six or seven seconds, uh, the result is returned. May I ask a question? Okay. Yes. Uh, according to your SRS document, what should be the this time? I mean, the response time uh, in your SRS. In, in Zero point one second, right? Yes. So you need to work on it, right? All right. Yes. Uh -huh. the, the second thing uh, is that uh, you upload image, one image, I think, at a time, right? Mm -hmm. But in most of the times at a hospital, you might need to upload in a batch. So hmm. you could you might have a interface to select more than one image. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. So yes. that you, you, you can uh, upload, for example, 10 images and the report mm -hmm. could be giving the image name and the result to the user. So in a hospital scenario, there could mm -hmm. be uh, more than one image can be uploaded and then compared each uh, result as a as a uh list okay so okay. think about okay. this think about this okay i don't know if it is in as please turn off your microphone so if you uh, check your sris document use case if you mention uh, batch upload or not okay okay let's continue uh, here this is the video on how to use the website mm. Hi, I'm Furkan. Uh, I will explain uh, user. Uh, just, menu. just a moment. Menu. Uh, you are gonna explain this, okay? Uh, user menu. Uh, and we have put a video guide on the user menu page about how the uh, user uh, should use the product. Implementation and and deployment uh, with the required models and Flask installed on any web hosting that supports Python and the project. Uh, excuse, can be... excuse me, could you please show that documentation? I couldn't understand what's the documentation in a video mm. format. I, I mm. don't see right now. So okay, what... uh, I will show you. Uh, if you let me, I uh, can share my screen yes please do it uh, user menu page is here it's a video but but do you have any voice over it uh, voice uh, no uh, 
it has now. So you have to provide some voice, right? So uh, yeah. information or subtitle, I don't know what. So mm. it's not a user manual, it's just a screenshot then. Actually, uh, it is written right next to the upload uh, upload input, you know, here. But it's, it's just a hint. Oh, but okay. it's user menu is a different thing, right? Everybody knows yes. what's the user menu. So yes. it could be a PDF document, it could be online page, it could mm. be a video, but there is just a screenshot is not a user menu. Do you follow me? Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, we will write we, we instructions. Don't forget that we are we are just trying to do generate a product here. Okay. So yes. we imitate that this product will be used by by millions of people. I know it's very simple, but you need to leave that experience to prepare a user menu. But it's just the screenshot. Do you understand the difference? Yes. Okay. Please improve this and. Add this to your uh, final report. With maybe you would also think that to create a user menu with the uh, these uh, screenshots as PDF as well. Maybe. Okay. Okay. We will do it. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, implementation and deployment uh, with the required modules and Flask installed on any web posting that supports Python. The project can be deployed and easily be used and the users uh, can run the application with flask run commands or run the codes from and uh, uh, either like vs code what about heroku website uh, actually uh, we uh, couldn't solve the model size problem but uh, this uh, really uh, to deploy and we uh, just configured the uh, deploy base. But without deploying to Heroku, your project will not be uh, considered to be done. Mm. Yeah. Excuse me, can I add something? Yes, I remember. Uh, so, sir, uh, there is a capacity limit at Heroku and when we try Yes, to... I know that there is a workaround. So yeah. you just downgrade your or downsize your model. Okay. okay. Well, did you, did you try this downsizing your model? No, actually we looked for so other... you can you can distill your model. Okay, you can use a simpler model. Sorry, I couldn't hear. You can use a simpler model. Oh, OK. Although the same model, there, will, there are several versions of the same model. So you, okay. as, you, as long as you are using transfer learning, you can use another base model. Do you follow me? Yes. And I shared these kind of tutorials with you. So there are some uh, libraries which can help you to distill. Distill means that downsize the number of parameters to, so they can fit into the uh, Heroku capacities. OK. Did you try uh, this? No, no, we didn't. OK, please do it because otherwise your project is running only look at local. Uh, you yes. cannot say that it's a web based approach. All right. Do you understand okay. me? Yes. So, okay. so in the final report, I would like to see your solution, how you work around this capacity problem in the Heroku website. Please express it clearly. I will look into for it. We will mention it. Okay, let's continue. And you have only three, two days, remember? Yes, we do. Okay, let's continue. Uh, as a response time refers to the time it takes for a query from a user to receive a response from a server. And the time elapsed uh, since the user uploaded the picture is approximately uh, seven seconds. And that's all for me. Hello, everyone. This is so. Uh, so as I uh, as I asked in ten minutes ago, in the previous slide, if you go back, mm -hmm. 
So you need to mention the what should be this response time according to your user requirement or SRS document. Yes. Okay. So okay. update this and mention in the uh, final report as well. Let's continue. Okay. We will do it. Uh, I'm going to be telling you about the acceptance test and requirements of the project. Uh, what's acceptance test? Acceptance testing is a test used in engineering and its different subdisciplines to find out if the requirements are, of a contract are met. In the following slides, we will evaluate our requirements uh, according to our SRS document. Uh, these were some requirements and we will I will I'm going to explain which ones we couldn't do and how we try trying to solve them. So uh, we were supposed to use Heroku app. Uh, it was supposed to be running on a microservice like Heroku app or Firebase. But uh, currently, as, as mentioned before, Heroku app is limited with 500 megabytes. But on the other hand, Google's Firebase is uh, providing one gigabytes. So uh, we will either work with uh, the model and downsize it and upload it to Heroku app or we will uh, solve the problem with uh, Firebase. Uh, the website was expected to uh, receive images from the user. Uh, this is satisfied. Function properly to perform well and le be less laggy. Uh, yes, it works well as well. Um, Pre-process images. This this is done in the backend in the codes. Um, use machine learning algorithms. Uh, this is also done. Use ResNet 50. Unfortunately, as mentioned before, we tried ResNet 50 and other models, but ResNet 50 performs less, um, le worse than I mean exception. So we are using exception. Other okay, maybe maybe you could try MobileNet. Yeah, I tried. Think we tried mobile net. smaller than exception. Small. We tried mobile net and different uh, kinds of mobile net, uh, yes, but yes. it was it wasn't uh, performing so good. I mean, ah, results okay. were so bad. Yes, I, see. I understand. I understand. Uh, but try to you then. Have you tried the exception other versions of the exception model? Uh, I tried uh, inception as well, but it wasn't good either. Uh, the best one was exception, but I don't know. I see. I, I understand, but for the sake of the deployment, yes. For the sake of the deployment, try to a lighter version of a train model, and okay. in the end, just mention that yes, at the end we upload. We are successfully upload uploaded the this model onto okay. Heroku, and you can access Heroku using this link. So I would like to see that end to end if the project fin finalized. Do you understand my point? Yes. So, I... OK, in the report clearly write that we couldn't upload the exception. We couldn't apply the mobile net, but we could upload XXY, whatever. And okay. it is performance is low, but you can check this working on that link on the Heroku website. Do you follow me? Yes. And that work up? Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. So at yes. least I can I can visit that and I can see that it's working somehow. OK. Let's continue. Um, the project was expected to train and test the image data sets. This also works fine. Uh, make a prediction. It's uh, satisfied. Well, date its accuracy inside the same data set. This is also done. It gives like um, each. Uh, it gives the accuracy for each class. Uh, classify images up to three classes. Give the name of the disease or healthy. So 90% of our functional requirements are made. Uh, I said 90 because only this is not um, successful, but this one is solved with use, uh, using exception. External interface requirements. A uh, website will be a, a web-based simple interface. It's co correct. I mean done. Deliver an image classification of the uploaded image result along with the percentage of its prediction. This is done, but um, we we couldn't. I mean, I didn't. We didn't include it in the presentation, but it's done. 
and the user will be able to upload an image or images as you mentioned sir uh, we were going to do it with uh, multiple images i mean you can currently upload one image but um, surely we will solve it uh, external interface requirements of software interface um, firstly we were using anaconda jupiter uh, not notebook but due to due to performance problems we we, we began using google collab also, we were using CPU. Again, uh, GPU was performing better, so we, we used this one. Um, about other modules, uh, we, we used these. And uh, we also used GitHub for sharing uh, codes and files with the group members. Um, for Heroka app, uh, there's storage limit, but uh, we were actually using NGROG some days ago. We were so able you, you, have you have you used the ng rock yes we did and it works so you fine. can share the you can share the local url right yes, yes. So local URL. yes okay. Actually, but you know that it does not live long you know that it is yes disappears. because it's probably running on our computer or on the ng rock uh, servers but it is uh, as you mentioned sir it's limited i mean um, it's not permanent like Heroku or Firebase. Also, we were uh, using Fast API and Unicorn. Uh, we began using Flask uh, because uh, we couldn't um, make it with Fast API. Flask was better than uh, Fast API. I mean, in 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 program in programming, I think it was better. Um, also, communication interfaces. Well, um, since we are not using uh, Heroku and tried it on ngrock it was also producing HTTPS but uh, we need to solve this one as well because um, we are supposed to use Heroku app or something like similar with HTTPS protocol uh, the microservice will be deployed on Heroku app of course there's storage limit uh, Unicorn and fast API will be used but we are using Flask, so we, we actually um, satisfied these ones, and this is this needs to be solved. Um, so it's seventy five percent satisfied. Um, also, non functional requirements: accuracy of the result should be more than ninety. Uh, we tried we tried uh, 20, 20, 20 images, and the uh, accuracy were over 90, like 99% or 99.7%. Accuracy of the, uh, sorry, I, I said it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, this was, I mean, um, the, the model gives like 98.7, which is less than 100. So it avoids uh, overfitting. I was mentioning um, the percentage of the model that gives you when you test it. It well, it gives like 99.7 uh, ACA, for example, for the class, for the image uh, prediction. Application should have ubiquity. It should be accessible from anywhere. Uh, this is only done by ng rock But if we solve the size problem, problem, we will uh, we will be able to access it from anywhere and anytime. So that's it, sir. So, uh, Furkan, mm. what's your exact I'm here. Um, specific I contribution? In, I interest uh, deployment pace in the first uh, stage of our project. Uh, I uh, interest in Fast API, Ubicorn, uh, and Hiroko, but we uh, decided to use Flask and uh, I'm interested website site uh, mostly. Okay. Render, what's your specific contribution to that project? Uh, overall, I have done a uh, machine learning part. Also, we worked with a uh, web development part with Furkan. And um, also in, in the project, we, I have done like some researches about um, ca cancer 
Actually, last week I talked to a doctor um, who is friend of my mom. I'll also, I talked to an, a medicine student who is who is my sister's friend. Um, so uh, I, I I talked to them about how this project could help them, and I will add this interview to my project. I mean the article, final report. Um, yeah. I actually um, worked with all parts. I mean, okay. we, we, we all have tasks, but as you mentioned before, um, we all have to know about each other's tasks. So, yeah. OK, so do you want to add anything? Yes, uh, I uh, understand your question rightly right now uh, and I uh, some researchers uh, report about a literature review uh, I searched these things and uh, I worked on uh, searching or writing the report okay That's what. so uh, you have received my comments and feedbacks so please correct or improve your final report uh, along with these comments and feedbacks. All right. OK, OK, thank you. Okay. Thank um, you. Yeah. But if can you, are, if can you don't ask? have, let, let me finish. Okay. Sorry. If you don't have any urgency, please stay in the presentations for the other teams. If you have some urgency, you can leave. But I would like to suggest you to stay and watch and understand the others what they've done, how they present. It's a good experience for everyone. And of course, you can receive my feedbacks. OK. OK, sir. All right. Thank can you. I, can I send something? Yes, please. Uh, well, uh, since I am not in Ankara, back in my home, I have bad connection, so sometimes I might lose connection. So j just inform me, sir. OK, thank you for everyone.